huge congratulations on the shows, guys. The show, guys. Uh, I've watched it all already because I've got nothing. Oh else wow! My time. Oh great! It's Fantastic. a nice, easy, great. breezy show about football. What, yeah. What, what, what more do you want? Uh, I really enjoyed the dynamic between the three of you. So I was just going to ask you about that, reading the characters for the first time, reading the dynamic, and what excited you about having this kind of, I hate to say the word three-way, but <laughs> you can say the, the you, relationship you between it. the three of you. It's out uh, there. Maybe, Phil, I'll start with you. I think as we see going forward, there is the sort of the ego tussle between two, uh, like the old guard and the, the sort of um, chirpy, uh, newer uh startup upstart one of the two uh and i think that as we go on we sort of see the respect come in more and more between between roy and jamie and i think that um i think that we also learn more with jamie he sees keely more and more i think as we go on and he sees roy seeing keely more and i think that he learns from sort of the elder person that he though he hates to admit it respects uh, and he finally gets to see all of those things that Keely was desperately trying to get Jamie to see uh, throughout throughout the series. Yeah, Brett, how about you? How is it playing in this dynamic and also playing Roy? Because he's such a, a rich character and he's he's obviously the old guard trying to yeah. embrace the new guard, the, 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 new, uh, the, new, the new guard with the younger people and also with Ted. Yeah, yeah, I loved I loved playing Roy. Actually, it was one of my favourite jobs. And and part of it, part of it with Phil and Juno is I, I think it's. Well, A, truthfully, I l loved them both in real life, so that was easy and fun. But it was also, I think that the thing with Phil, with his character, is Roy probably was a bit like that when he was starting out. So he eventually sort of has to see, I was that idiot. And uh, so I, you have to be sort of patient with someone growing. And also, I think what happens with, with Juno, with Keely, is I think that Roy, up to that point, has just had a series of terrible uh, relationships with women who were with him for entirely the wrong reason. And I think he sees Juno for the first time as like, oh, shit, I've just sworn, I'm sorry for that. Uh, oh, like, this is, this is a proper person, and it actually matters, stuff like that. So, you know... I'm making it sound quite serious, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was quite easy, uh, easy to play off the two of them. Yeah, and Juno, how has it been in the middle of these two, but also playing Keely because she's a real. It's hard not to like her because she's a real firecracker. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Um, I mean, come on, what a dream to get to act with these two, and it was cool. I hadn't seen. Um, Jason suggested watching that film Bull Durham before I. Uh, started shooting and I loved I loved the dynamic of what was going on in that show I mean in that movie and especially because it was about sport and then this kind of younger guy older guy anyway I just thought it was so great and then getting to play Keely who is I think very much a character that you could judge the book by its cover but you really shouldn't because there's a lot more going on with her and um and getting to play with these two men that are going on different journeys at different points in their life but coming from the same source and getting to kind of be a part of both of their journeys and helping hopefully helping both of them in their in their in the in a way that's necessary but also learning more about herself through both of them too and I think it's like it was such a great acting dynamic and off-camera dynamic with these two and it was like and you know setting it up for where you want to keep keep the journey going with these three characters because it's almost never ending you know they could be this kind of awesome family that keeps kind of going for eternity um but it was yeah it was really fun and it was really fun to play a woman that you know does speak her truth and said you know is um like you said a firecracker i think that's also yeah, she's not afraid of the men that she's hanging out with. She's actually really good at challenging them. And I think both of these men end up really respecting that and actually <clears throat> needing that from her, you know, which I think is a really cool thing too. Absolutely. Well, my time is up, alas. I wish uh, I could do Scott. more. But uh, thank you so much for your time, guys, and good luck with the show. Really Thanks, Scott. Thank, thank you, you very much, man. Yeah, That's for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!